one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all. It has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy wants to know that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually, you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the big martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. See who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight team. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the community center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fighters. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt because that's the soft. Right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. Nice. Back and forth we go. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right hand and a left. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Massive left hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. It's messed up really bad. All right, so an opportunity goes by. Oh, no. been a crazy fight. Both fighters get oh. Oh. Fast. 
jab lands it. Trying the flying knee there. Beautiful connection lands. Fighting long is the key. Just misses with that one. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Five oh, minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're Ready supposed to, to do to try Ready. to change the way that this fight is going. Second round underway. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, nice right in. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, you see his high-level footwork here. Maybe try to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep fainting out little punches with no intent to land just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Just over three minutes now to go. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Seconds now to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 30 seconds to go. Oh. 15 seconds. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. And the horn sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready 
durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, he is at his kick. Strikes right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. A massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limp. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it, it's natural. You got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, the bruising. Back to his feet. Big left hand there inside. That's it. That'll do it. Oh, my God. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. Level, I don't ever see it dipping. Try me if you want to guarantee, though, you're going to wish you hadn't did it. 